And that is the motto we follow here at One Track Living. Now, we have given you business advice, relationship advice, <laughs> where to invest your money, ideas. We've given everything that we can give you here at this channel. That's why we ask for people to subscribe. No, we don't have the big flashy fireworks of, of displays here. We don't have music in the background. We don't have all of those bells and whistles that everyone else might have. But what we drop are jewels of knowledge, something that can enrich your life and some information that could probably help someone. That's what we want to do, keep you informed and keep you moving. Now, other people that surround your circle, how many people you told your plan to and they laughed at you or they basically shot you down? How many times did that happen? How many times you were serious about something that they thought you was playing? How many times you been there for them and they've never been there for you? Or never really thought about being there for you? How many times they've ever called you just to see how you were doing? Like genuinely saying, like, man, let me hit this dude up. Let me see how he's doing. How many times? Or how many times have you done it for them? People like that are enablers. You're holding on because they remind you of a time where everything was great. And you're only going to get as far as the person that's next to you. But when you're holding on to something, it can hold you back. It's a hard decision to do. It's a very hard decision. Friends grow apart, but they don't have to. When people make changes in their life, they got to surround themselves with things that are that they have changed into. It's very hard for them to hold on to the life in the past that they had before and still continuously go on the path that they own now. I understand that. Before, when I was younger, I didn't understand. I thought, as long as I'm being a honey with you, you should be a honey with me, no matter what. We cool, we boys, we friends, whatever, to the end. No matter what changes in your life, that's cool. We That shouldn't have no effect on our friendship. Our business relationship. You know what I'm saying? That should not change. That shouldn't have a, a turn of direction. Because I came from a place where you had to do something wrong in order for people to stop dealing with you. And as you find out on the road that, because you end up being faced with it, and that's how you recognize it. That if someone stopped dealing with you, it's because not, it has nothing to do with you, per se. It has something to do with where they are and the direction they're going in. So it doesn't necessarily have to be just you. It's a direction. Now, my homeboys, I got some that I hang with. Every now and then, you know, we don't hang like we used to. You know, you guys see and get more of me than my friends do, than my family do. 
But you got to understand something, and they got to understand something. I'm going to miss birthday. I might miss your kids thing. I send as many as I can on Facebook. I'm going to miss some stuff. The girls I date, I tell them, I'm going to miss some things. Because I got to cover this. I have to be on top of that. I got to do that. Oh, you should take a break. You need a vacation. I don't know what that means. I wouldn't know what to do on vacation. I'm always in constant motion. That I think if I stop, that's the end of it. That's how I gravitate, I move, and I think. So, if we're talking on that playing field, in that mind state, What are we really doing here? You know? We're, we're in a, a whole different type of run. Where friends and business sometimes mix and they don't mix. My business partners are more closer to me now than my friends that I had when I grown up. Like, we talk more. I talk to them more than I do my family. Even though I talk to my family, and I love my family, my family will come before any of them. We talk more because we have to. You know, I know about their children. I know their, their kids' birthdays. I know it all. What I don't know is why some people who go through these events don't recognize and say he's right. Like I got friends that some of them friends, they have killed people before. They have actually taken life off this planet. That's not the reason I'm friends with them. Been knowing them for a very long time. Just so happens that they end up taking a couple of lives. They've served time for it. And actually has been out of jail. Went back and forth to jail and all these things. And it's not like we go out and chill and have burgers now. It's just that you get to a point where you can't be associated with certain people. And you can't bring all your friends together. I can't have him in the same room with my business partners and somebody else. I got other friends that like, we might just only go to the movies and hang out. I have friends that we're over here. We might only do two, three things together. We might just go to the bar. I have a fantasy football friend. I have friends in various locations that we do these different events on. And some might say, why? I say, why not? These are the, my foundation. These are my bricks. These are the people that made me. I'm still going to be associated with these people. Because even though that dude took a lot of life, that guy has a lot of wisdom. He's grown. He's found God. He's found, he's, he's changed his whole life. He's not that person he was 20 some odd years ago when he was young and stupid and taking lives out there. It's not that no more. Hasn't been that for a very long time. And don't want to be defined by it. So I could be around that. But there's other people that have taken lives. They still stuck in the rut. 
they still doing the same thing that led them back to prison repeatedly. They don't mind going back to prison. It's sad. I've seen a lot of my friends crash and burn. I've done right by a lot of my friends. A lot of my friends went to jail for a very long time. I helped a lot of them with their families. You know, sent money, had to do it in checks of fifty dollars, just money orders, just all tedious headache things I had to do to help them out. You know, stress. The, the, you know, parole hearings, everything that I that wasn't on my, wasn't on my table, but it was on there. You know, it was very important to them. I got to go to work and I'm doing all these things and I'm helping taking care of some of my friends, you know, responsibility. And helping them out because they weren't in position to do so. Not expecting anything in return. And I always tell you guys, friends do because they want to do. Friends don't owe. Now, I can't bring all my friends together in one big room. And the reason why I don't do that, because something might happen. My friend over here might get into it with this friend over here. Now I'm in the middle of this. I've caused this scene to bring them together because I know their type of energies are not going to mix. I got a friend that talks crazy. You know, he can't be on the internet. <laughs> he talk, you know, he's going to offend everybody and he don't give a damn. We all got that friend. We all got that family member. <laughs> that just, they are stuck in 1977. And it was a glorious time for them. That music, everything. They ain't changing. Nah, you can forget that. But that's them. So, why I keep trying to elevate and go to the top and do different things and do it my way by keeping my integrity, keeping everything you know, 100. I turned down opportunities to to partner with these guys and groups who basically I don't trust in this internet game. And people are like, dude, you know, you could be rich. You're turning down like half a million dollars to do this stuff, man. And you know how much money's out here. You could have turned that into a million by now. You could have been a millionaire, but I've been happy. Would I have been happy? This one person wanted me to move to New York City. They want me to go to New York for the meeting. Get me an apartment. They were going to put me up in an apartment down there. We're going to do a podcast show. And and we'll just move it there. And you got an internet. You can relocate. It ain't about I can relocate. I can do that whenever I feel like it. I can live anywhere in the world. And do what I do, basically. But do I want to do that? Would I be happy in that venture? No, I was cool. I never said, let me get in this to be super rich. I didn't set this up as a business. I didn't. I came here to inform people and have a good time interacting with people. That's what I did it for. Now, the money just came along later. And then all the attention came later. But I had already been on here for years. Before anybody noticed me. So, nothing's changed. I'm still that same guy. I just know certain people I can't associate with all the time. My time is not, we can't do the things we did 20 years ago. It's cool, we can reminisce. 
But I can't go back to do the stuff I was doing 20 years ago. It was cool, man. I, was, I had to tell my buddy the other day, I'm like, dude, that was cool what he was doing. But you got to grow. Some people stay stagnated or they get to their station in life and say, hey, this is my circle now. And I have friends that went and, you know, they couldn't balance hanging out with me and the guys and all that. And, you know, they they married now. They got to go do that married life. You know, or they got the kids and they doing dinner dates, you know, with the other people that marry kids and family. I understand it. A lot of people feel like I wouldn't understand. I understand it the most. Because I don't have that time to really dedicate to doing that stuff with y'all anyway. But they feel a little guilt in the fact because they like, man, that dude never crossed me. And I treat him as if he did. I wonder if he, you know, have some animosity against him. I don't. And sometimes in a conversation like I had today that brought up on this video, I had a two hour conversation with a friend of mine and he cried because he felt guilty that he had never reached out. And he is like, man, I live close by you, man. And I, I feel bad, you know, you know, you, you always been there for me, man, for everything. And I just feel like I'm a, I'm a lousy friend, man. Cause I wouldn't, I'm like, dude, to tell you the truth, it was a relief for y'all not to try to come hang out because I wouldn't have probably been able to hang out. I've probably been making my videos. I've probably been in the middle of some other stuff. I'm like, dude, I need that space. I'm not somebody that begs for it. I'm not holding no animosity or no grudge. But it was cool to catch up for two and a half hours. Or how many hours that was on the phone. You know, it was cool. We got three-way. We got our other buddy on the phone who we ain't spoke to in a minute. We found out what happened to certain people in our lives. And I'm like, that was cool. We didn't even have to meet up and hang out. That little time on the phone was great. <laughs> now everybody knows where everyone stands. You feel me? Everybody gets it now. We all in the same boat. So on that note, all I can tell y'all is this. Thank you for supporting the page. Hit me up on the cash app. Carcino is the name, K-A-R-C-E-N-O. I appreciate you guys. And always, you might have these same people I'm talking about in your lives. Remember, they might not understand it. You might not understand it. But people go in a direction. It doesn't mean they don't have love for you. It don't mean they don't care. It just means that they got things they have to do. That's just it. No one's against you. No one's trying to take you down. They just might have things they have to do and immediate need towards them. That's all. Deuce.